especially for middle-income Americans. This will lead to millions of new and really good-paying jobs. Now, if you're thinking that's the most boring Donald Trump speech I've ever seen, that might be because he was reading that script off a teleprompter, not talking off the top of his head. So, it's like watching a circus seal fold laundry. That's not the thing you normally do, and I can't wait till you get back to doing the fun stuff. But to be fair, his campaign must have been pleased to keep him disciplined and on message for an entire hour. Unfortunately, the rest of the week quickly devolved, because the very next day he made a chilling suggestion that Second Amendment people could stop Hillary Clinton, and before people could even get over that, he'd moved on to this. ISIS is honoring President Obama. He is the founder of ISIS. He's the founder of ISIS. And I would say the co-founder would be crooked Hillary Clinton. Wow. I, I tell you what, I will give Trump this. At least he made sure to include Hillary as co-founder. Hashtag feminism, hashtag ISIS with her. <laughs> now, clearly, what he just said is absolutely absurd. But even when people tried to help him reframe it, he doubled down. Conservative radio host Hugh Hewitt pressed him on that. I know what you meant. You meant that he created the vacuum, he lost the peace. No, I meant he's the founder of ISIS. But he's not sympathetic to them. He hates them. He's trying to I kill them. It... He was the founder. He's so insistent. He's like a guy drowning but waving off a lifeboat saying, get out of here, I'm very buoyant. I'm the most buoyant. Everybody talks about my buoyancy. I'm a tremendous floater. Tr Trump... Trump was forced to walk his ISIS remarks back on Friday, tweeting, ratings challenge CNN reports so seriously that I call President Obama and Clinton the founder of ISIS, and then in all caps, they don't get sarcasm. And yes, sarcasm is a bullshit excuse. It's the douchebag's apology. But at least he diffused the situation, which, which is what made it so much weirder when later that same day, he walked his walk back back. So I said... The founder of ISIS. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic. Then, then, but not that sarcastic, to be honest with you. What are you doing? What are you doing? You know that riddle where there are two people, one who always lies and one who always tells the truth? Donald Trump is both of those at once. And he had barely put that whole mess behind him when in Pennsylvania he started up a whole new controversy. The only way we can lose... In my opinion, I really mean this, Pennsylvania, is if cheating goes on. I really believe it. The only way they can beat it, in my opinion, and I mean this 100%, if in certain sections of the state, they cheat. Okay. <laughs> he means it 100%. So by the time this show airs, he'll presumably have said he was kidding, but not, but yes, but not, but maybe, but not, but yes, but not, but maybe. <laughs> but, but what is really worth taking note of there and, and is worth thinking about is that he's suggesting the election may be stolen by his opponent and that's actually dangerous he is priming his supporters to question the result when he loses pennsylvania as polls indicate he will and as all republican ca presidential candidates have since 1988 and he's not just talking the talk here he's asking his supporters to walk the walk his website now has an application that you can fill out to be a trump election day observer now, well, you know, in a way, we are all Trump Election Day observers. <laughs> because if you look out of your window in November and see four horsemen of the apocalypse, you'll know, oh, shit, they just called Florida. <laughs> but it does seem he actually wants people to participate. If you go to his website, which you absolutely should not, and try to, and try to sign up, you'll be asked to donate, which, again, you absolutely should not do. Anyone who wants to give their money to a Manhattan narcissist whose uh, interests begin and end with the plight of white people should keep in mind that Woody Allen's Cafe Society is getting decent reviews right now. <laughs> but, but not, not great, but decent. It's one of the fine ones. Uh, we wanted to see what actually signing up involved. So we signed up without donating and received an email from the campaign saying, we are going to do everything we are legally allowed to do to stop crooked Hillary from rigging this election. Which is troubling, because I'm not sure Donald Trump knows what he's legally allowed to do. <laughs> His own attorney once had to apologise for saying, you cannot rape your own spouse. And honestly, I'm surprised Trump even had an attorney. I always just presumed he got legal advice from a John Grisham paperback purchased at a white supremacist yard sale. 